This is the Thermaltake Tower 100. The Tower 100 has a small footprint coming in at 462 millimeters high, 266 millimeters wide, and 266 millimeters deep. It's available in both a snowy white or black edition. This mini tower case comes with three easily removable 4mm thick tempered glass windows on the front, left and right side. This allows you to show off all of your gorgeous hardware no matter what side of the desk you decide to pop your case on. Additionally, there are no awkward chunky screws blocking the view here as all these panels simply slide straight out to make it easy to access your hardware inside. The case also comes with two pre-installed 120mm fans to ensure you get peak airflow from the very first power-up. Now don't let its compact size throw you off, you can still run all sorts of hardware inside the Tower 100. The case is designed to fit ITX motherboards, as well as up to 140mm fans in either of the two mounting locations. You can also fit up to a 120mm radiator at the top if you're wanting to run with an all-in-one cooler. You can run with a CPU cooler up to 190mm and a standard ATX slash power supply of up to 180mm in length. Finally, your graphics card mounts vertically in the case, with the case able to support a card of up to 330mm. So yes, that does mean it can fit an RTX 3090. The Tower 100 has an array of special features that come together to make this case incredibly unique. Firstly, after extensive feedback, we've made some changes to the airflow in this case. There's now a total of 8 super fine fan filters located on the right, left, top and bottom. These are all designed to be incredibly easy to clean, keeping the dust bunnies on the outside where they belong. The case has an incredibly modular design, with almost every panel being removable. The top panel utilizes a simple press button design, making accessing the top section incredibly easy. You can fit up to two 3.5 inch HDDs or four 2.5 inch SSDs, including a separate bracket on the right side for SSDs if you want a bit of both. Finally, the front is equipped with a modern I.O. port that comes with two USB 3.0 ports and even a Type-C port in an easy-to-access location. The Tower 100 borrows the amazing qualities of the iconic Tower 900 that you came to love, but boasts plenty of unique features that make this mini tower case stand out from its big brother. Its modularity, versatility and small footprint make the Tower 100 a case anyone can see their next ITX build in. Thank you so much for watching the video. The new H series showcases NZXT's vision for modern PC building. The H700i, H400i, and H200i feature a unique cam-powered smart device digitally driving RGB lighting and fan performance. You can effortlessly control RGB lighting and fans via the cam dashboard, while adaptive noise reduction optimizes your build's acoustics through machine learning and ideal fan settings. It comes with Air F fans and integrated RGB LEDs to enhance the aesthetics of your build seen through the stunning tempered glass panel. The unique smart device includes features from our Hue Plus and Grid Plus V3 digital controllers, allowing for effortless control and RGB lighting and fans through CAM software. Customized lighting is streamlined with integrated and individually addressable RGB LED strips. Don't waste time checking compatibility, installing and manipulating physical buttons. Our out-of-the-box elegantly controlled CAM software is all you need. The H series is available in four combinations to match your taste and its elegant all steel construction is shared across all sizes. The tempered glass panel and signature PSU shroud showcase beautiful builds. Cable management can often take more than assembly. We designed a new cable routing kit and pre-installed channels and straps on the back of the motherboard tray for intuitive and easy wiring. The H-Series layout ensures you enjoy building your PC as much as you enjoy gaming on it. We simplified water cooling installation with drop-in brackets and integrated reservoir mounting for custom loop systems. Air F fans are included for optimal internal airflow. To preserve your system's clean looks, front and PSU intakes are fully filtered. Storage installation is a snap, with quick-release 2.5-inch SSC trays on the PSU shroud. 
H series cases comes with support for two additional 2.5 inch behind the motherboard tray and mounting for traditional 3.5 inch drives. This storage layout optimizes airflow and interior space for a clean looking build. Our unique adaptive noise reduction uses an onboard noise sensor to measure and learn the speeches of your system to find the ideal balance between fan speed and cooling. With up to a 40% reduction in fan noise level, you won't need to waste time designing custom fan curves. Leveraging machine learning to improve its results, this will ensure your fan settings are always optimal even if you change hardware.
And today we're going to introduce you to the Core V1 Mini ITX chassis. Now that we have the Core V1 out of its box, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the important spec details for the Core V1 Mini ITX chassis. Okay, and here you see the spec details. Core V1 model name, case type, it's a Mini, Mini ITX case. Here's your dimensions, obviously it's a very small cubicle chassis. Uh, SPCC material, drive base, you have two 3.5, two 2.5s, which we'll show you shortly. They support both hard drive and SSD or 2.5 inch hard, uh, notebook hard drives. Uh, two expansion slots for full size graphics cards, standard mini ITX motherboard support, IO ports, which is your standard front IO, we'll show you again once again shortly. You have the uh, cooling system on the front, which is included the 200 millimeter fan. Then you have what fans will fit it, what radiators will fit it, and even what kind of clearance you have, all the way up to 140 mil on an air cooler. Otherwise, you have your from your inner and outer chassis for the graphics cards to show, along with your uh, PSU insulation, anywhere from 180 to 200 plus millimeters, basically depending on what you fit there. But we'll take a look at that shortly. Now let's take a look inside the chassis and see what kind of fitment options and other features this chassis has to offer. Okay, now looking at the chassis itself, you have the front, which is a filtered mesh. Going here, that allows your inlet airflow. You also have the open mesh on the side, which allows airflow through the chassis, in through the side, or out through the side as needed. Now let's take a look at the front I.O. ports. Okay, now here we have the front I.O. Starting with your hard drive LED and power LED. Then you have your power button, along with dual super speed USB 3.0, headset and microphone port, and your reset button to round out all of your front panel connectivity. Starting at the front panel, pulling everything apart, you can see what the front panel just has clips that you can just pull the front panel off easily. It has a foam material that works as a filtering medium, so therefore you just blow air through the back, clean it out, and it keeps everything, all the dust under control, keeps a lot of it out of your case. And speaking of uh, airflow, the large 200 millimeter fan, which comes pre-included right on the front, now this can be pulled and replaced for push-pull radiator setups or whatever configuration you prefer for 120 or 140 millimeter or the 200 millimeter you can leave as it is and even run something inside but let's go ahead and we're going to look at that in a moment in the inside but let's take a look now at the wiring for the front panel and what comes included the front panel connectivity you can see here first of all you have your front panel power reset hard drive led and power led connectors you have your internal 20 pin which is used for your usb 3.0 front port or can be converted to USB 2.0 via an adapter, which we also offer, just in case uh, maybe your chip motherboard doesn't offer the newest USB 3.0. We have your HD audio front connector, and we also have the three pin fan header for your 200 millimeter fan at the front of the chassis we just showed you. Okay, next up would be the drive mounting in the 4V1. As you can see, both drives are mounted vertically. Now, as we said, it supports four drives, two 2.5, two 3.5, so these trays lift out like that, they have a screw that mounts right to the top into the motherboard tray area here. And you can see the 2.5 inch hard drives mount right on the back or SSDs obviously can mount right here and your large 3.5 mount here. So then you just take it, you place it back in, push it into place, and then put the one screw right back down into here. And it's now solid mounted, which allows also another added benefit here is your cable management, any wiring behind here is now hidden behind the drives itself. Now let's take a look inside at what the motherboard tray has to offer and also your PSU mounting. Okay, now inside the chassis, you can see it's actually quite spacious because your mini ITX board and mounting all end about here. You've got a very large CPU tray cutout. Obviously, once the power supply is mounted down below, it's gonna block this area, but during initial assembly, you can swap coolers or put the cooler on with the motherboard installed, which can make it much easier depending on your type of cooler you're using. Now, speaking of cooling space and other spaces, you have a very large area right up here behind the 200 millimeter fan where radiators can populate, or you can run your cabling or even tubing, tube reservoirs, what have you. And all this space down here with the dual chamber design, the top chamber made for the airflow going across the chassis, the bottom area, you can have all of your cabling and stuff hidden away so that as you look down on your system, you don't see a whole rat's nest of wires going everywhere. Now let's take a look at the back and close out what the Core V1 has to offer. On the rear of the Core V1 chassis, you have the two 80 millimeter fan ports, which are optional. They don't come with a fan pre-installed, but if you decide you need the extra airflow or even a rear mount uh, dual 80 radiator or what have you, you can install them right in these two locations. 
You have two expansion bay covers, which cover your full dual slot graphics cards, which coincide with the hole you saw on the front earlier, which allows the card to actually pass through to give us even larger graphics card support so that you can fit really high-end graphics cards where you normally would not in a mini ITX system. You also have your I.O. plate here where, we'll, where you'll install for all your I.O. on your motherboard and your PSU cutout, which allows up to a 200 millimeter or pretty much one of the highest end power supplies you can fit all the way up way past 1200 watts, which is way more than most pretty much any mini ITX system will ever require.